Okay, so let's talk about cardio and why it is so important that we are mindful and training specifically in specific zones to make sure that we are getting the most out of our cardio sessions. So zone two, I'm sure you hear it, especially if you follow a lot of us fitness coaches online, we talk a lot about it, but you probably don't really know what zone two is. So zone two, um, you can be tested through blood. That's what I did in Florida last year. They put me on a bike, they intensify the intensity and they take my blood. And through that, I was given my specific calculations on what my zones are for the most effective training. So zone two is where we need to be in order to make sure that we are becoming as efficient as possible. So our bodies are kind of doing this even at rest. So we're burning uh, our bot. I don't, I hate using metabolism because it's, it's not the right word. But basically, we want your bodies to just be efficient. We do this through consistent training in zone two. Also, zone two does help with cardiovascular function. Um, does it do it as well as VO2? No, but that's why we're going to also concentrate on specific VO2 training as well. So zone two, let's stay focused here, Tish. I want you to make, I have put it in your calendar specifically. I think um, day three is going to be specifically tailored for zone two, if I can recall it, I could be wrong there. But anyways, I, I would love though, if you want to get the most out of the program and to get the most out and the quickest result, I would love for you to focus on getting zone two training three to five times a week for a minimum of 25 minutes, maximum of 50 minutes uh, a week. So let me just say that one more time. In order for you to get the most results, make sure your body is running as efficiently as possible, getting the most out of uh, this routine and this, these workouts. Zone two training three to five days a week for a minimum of 25 minutes to 55 minutes a week. So classes like Orange Theory, F45, spin classes, I know are super fun, but they are not targeting or getting you into zone two. And you will hear um, the experts say, as midlife women, and I know we're not all entering midlife or in perimenopause, but especially those women who have bodies changing day to day rapidly as I am, we now have to really make sure that we are being more specific and tailoring our cardio sessions to get the most out of our results. Also, I don't want it to take you back. So if you're constantly pushing your body through these rapid classes of zone three, zone four, uh, then going zone one and going back into zone three and the body's just sorry, I just have a lost place. Like finally getting better, but still driving me crazy. Anyways, Tish, focus. This is actually the third time I've tried to film this um, because I just like, eh. anyways, okay, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep going. So we wanna make sure that we have to stay focused. <laughs> Funny that I say that on staying in zone two, three to five times a week. Like I said, I have it very specific in, in a couple of your days, but again, the more you can incorporate this cardio specific training to your weekly routine, the better. So um, I hope that I'm communicating that as clearly as possible. So I would like to just share you my zones. So it will give an idea of when you do wear your monitor, um, if you have one, if you don't, don't sweat it. Um, what sort of, you don't, obviously my numbers are not going to be your numbers. I do feel that my heart and lungs are pretty healthy, healthier than the mo mo most people my age. Well, and for 30 year olds, I, I know that because when I go walking with 30 year olds, they're, <gasps> and I'm like, right? So that gives you a pretty good indication right there. Plus I recover very, very quickly when I put myself into VO2 and max 30 second sprints almost instantly. So I know, and also through my testing, that I am um, really, that my specific training is definitely working. So zone one is less than 130 beats per minute. Base zone two, I need to be into 140-ish, 142, 143. Tempo training, which is a zone that we really don't really want to be in that often, is between 145 and 175. My lactate thresh threshold, zone four, is between 175 and 180. 
and my VO2, which I will do a second video for twice a week we need to do this type of training, is over 180 beats per minute. How do you know if you don't take these tests or you don't have a heart rate monitor to compare numbers to? How do you know you're in zone two? This is the best way to do it. You feel like you could do the cardio session comfortably for an hour, very comfortably. You probably don't really want to talk to the person beside you because you're working out, but you could. Um, you know, like when I'm up a hill and I'm in the middle of talking to Neil, I know that if I'm comfortably talking, I'm sweating, my heart rate is at that zone too, at like 140, as soon as we get heavier, or sorry, steeper, I then can feel that I no longer want to talk then I'm starting to creep up into a higher level. So in order for me to stay into my 140 zone two when I'm outside, I slow my pace down. So it really does help to wear a monitor and to pay attention to, you can absolutely stay into zone two when you're at nature walking, um, but when you do get into those hills where you, you literally do not feel like you wanna continue the conversation, or you know, if you're not talking to someone, test yourself. If you're out of breath and you can't complete sentences, you need to slow the pace down. Maybe even pause. I, I, sometimes I catch myself pausing for five to 10 seconds and then slowly coming. I know this sounds very nitpicky, ladies, but we have to become almost obsessed with how we're doing our zone two training at this stage in our lives. So, so, so important. Uh, make sure you spread the news too. Let these ladies know that the classes that they're doing are not getting them the results that they need or think that they are. We do not need to be torturing ourselves in these classes to get results. Our specific, our training needs to become polar, polarizing now. So, so make sure that you are spreading the news and letting everyone know that they need to be more sp specific in these zones to get specific Goals. What are we? What are our goals again? We want to make sure our bodies are efficient even while at rest, so people will see that you're probably consuming more calories, um, you're getting leaner, and they can't figure it out why. Well, it's also because you have lean muscle because you're building, but also because you were doing specific cardio training. You're not just wasting your time. Um, you know, feeling like you're out of breath, killing yourself. So that's zone two, ladies. Again. 25 minimum, 55-ish, you know, 45, 55. I know we're busy, so just do what you can do. I will program what I want you to do. And of course, you just need to do the best you can. Um, don't get hard on, don't be too hard on yourself. If you're not getting the times in, you will get better once you become more efficient with your time, etc. But just, I'm putting what I would love for you to do and you just do the best you can to get the results that, that I'm wanting for you to get. So that is what I need for you to do today and hopefully a couple of more three to five times a week. Um, but again, uh, I know I'm pushing a lot out there. So you just incorporate and put these new habits into your life when it's working for you.